When you want to store information in the memory that you want to access later in the program, the memory location needs to be named for future reference. Or if you are performing some operation on values, you should be able to store the result in a memory location and refer to it when required. Variable simply put is the name of this reserved area allocated in memory. It can hold different values like text, numbers, depending on the data type used. In Java, variable declaration looks like as shown, the data type followed by the name. And the assignment is also fairly simple. There are a few rules and conventions followed while naming a variable in Java. The variable names are case sensitive. So first name is different from first name. Java variable names must start with a letter or dollar symbol or underscore character. After the first character, the name can also contain numbers like name2. You cannot use a Java reserved keyword as a variable name. For instance, the words int or for are reserved words in Java and can't be used as variable names. If variable names consist of multiple words, each word after the first word has its first letter written in uppercase. Static final fields are named in all uppercase, typically using an underscore to separate the words in the name. There are four types of variables in Java, local, instance, static, and parameters. A variable which is declared inside the method is called local. A variable which is declared inside the class but outside the method is called instance variable, also known as non-static field. A variable that is declared as static is called static variable, also known as a class variable. Now, if you recall the hello world program, the signature of the main method is public static void main string args. Here the args variable is the parameter to main method of type string. This piece of code can help you differentiate between all four variable types. You'll get better clarity on different type of variables as and when we'll use them in the programs down the line. In the next few videos, let's take a look at the looping constructs and conditional constructs provided by Java.